Okay, here's a situation where we have a potential for an emergency. How do I stop this boat fast enough to pick up a guy who goes in the water? There are no brakes here. Right, we turn into the wind. If all I do is turn into the wind, the boat will eventually come to a stop. If I'm the only person on board and I fall overboard, the boat will naturally turn into the wind and eventually will come to a stop. Now, if you are the one in the water, you wanted it to stop faster than that because you're freezing out there, you're scared to death, and you want to get back in here. So the emergency braking maneuver is called the heave two. So right now the wind is coming at us from a certain angle to the bow and to the sails. We are maintaining this angle by our heading. What would happen if we were to release the head sail from where it is and start dragging it across the high side of the boat? The head sail will then be like this, set across the incoming wind, acting like a windbreak, and it will also blanket the main sail, cutting off its lift. Instead of making lift, the head sail then becomes a brake and will drag you to a stop. The trouble is it will take probably two minutes and a lot of grunting on the port side winch to drag the head sail across the boat against the wind. The fastest way to do this is to leave the sail where it is and turn the boat symmetrically across the wind so the wind is now on the other side of the boat and the head sail acts like the air brake. If anybody goes overboard and you're the helmsman and you hear man overboard, don't say boo, don't even think about it, just turn the wheel directly into the wind like this. When the bow comes through the eye of the wind, then turn the wheel back the other way. Look at our wake. The swimmer is right there, not far away, and we have come to a dead stop. Once you have turned through the wind, then you can turn the wheel back the other way, back towards the wind again. Now the rudder is fully to the right, and it's trying to turn the boat to the right, while at the same time the wind is trying to blow the head sail to the left. These two forces balance out, and we will sit here and perhaps drift downwind at almost no speed at all. In the meantime, if the swimmer is able, he'll be stroking to get back in the boat. Believe me, that water's cold. And if not, I want two guys in the dinghy real fast with a third guy to, re to release the dinghy's tow line. You go out there, you pick him up while the rest of us make ready to help get everybody back into the boat. That's how fast we can bring this boat to a stop. No, we don't have to do it, guys, because we've already done it in for practice. Yeah, so don't you don't have to do it in real life now. I'm we can always bad. throw somebody over to see how well it works. <laughs> Do I have a volunteer? No. No? Right, right there, okay. There you go. As long as that cast floats, all right? Well, it's got some little, I got an air pressure in it, so I can just. <laughs> That'll do it. Okay. 